Now, this next question I always ask everyone is, is if you could have written a letter to your younger self, kind of like the note to self, you may have seen it on TV, what, what might you have said to yourself? No wrong answer, obviously. Well, um, just that time goes so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you always think that you have a lot of time, and I still think that I have a lot of time sure. ahead of me, but um, for s so long I always felt so young, and then it right. just seems like in kind of the blink of an eye, it's, oh, 10 years went by, and then yeah. you start to realize that those 10s mm -hmm. add up pretty quickly, and then yeah. it's over. So we've got some pictures here, and I want you to just kind of, pardon the pun, organically kind of walk the viewer through them, hold them up. Okay. Um, and, there's, and they're on the back as well. You might want to tilt them uh, a little bit. So um, this is a picture that was taken in our St. Matthew's store in okay. uh, 2012. And this photo was actually used for the cover of Vitamin Retailer Magazine. That's great. Awesome. And then there's one on the back there. Um, oh, this is Yeah, this well, is I had actually, to, I, I had to, <laughs> she gave it to me. <laughs> so this is actually a great story. This is a T-shirt from our very first uh, shirt in 1977. And I had never seen this shirt before, and I was at the Bardstown Road Farmer's Market, mm -hmm. and someone said, somebody that I was with said, wow, that's a really cool t-shirt. And mm -hmm. I turned around, and I saw that it said Natural Food Store and Cafe Louisville, Kentucky on the back. Yeah. And so I said, what is that? So I went up to her, and I actually saw this shirt for the very first time. Yeah. And I did not get the shirt from her there. I took this picture, <laughs> and then I ended up tracking her down oh, wow. via social media and bought the t-shirt off of her, and I ended up learning a lot about it. And at the very bottom, you can see that there's kind of this Celtic um, design. Uh -huh. That's actually a cover-up because it had said Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, my. And okay. And the screen printer was from Ohio and put Lexington instead of Louisville, so uh -huh. they sent it back and covered it up, and then they printed the Louisville, Kentucky on the back of the shirts. So, cool, um, and you can hand me that front one, and then we move on to the okay. next one. Okay. Um, so uh, this is an article that was um, in the Courier Journal, and this is an award that we received um, for um, being a green leader. Um, and so this was in 2009 or 2010, mm -hmm. and this was after we opened our Gardner Lane store. Um, and that was the first LEED certified uh, retail store in the state of Kentucky. Um, so that was kind of an exciting uh, thing for me to do. And, and, something and you're there with Congress and Yarmouth and yeah. Bill Holland, and another <laughs> entrepreneur. And we have a yeah. picture of that and plate that's, a that's in the... picture of the plate. So, yeah. um, you know, this is probably where my leadership comes into play because mm -hmm. this was something that I really wanted to do and that my dad thought I was crazy for. But um. <laughs> no, it, gives, it gives you street cred, as they say. It does, right? yeah. yeah. Um, and then and this is, this maybe, is, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is a picture uh, with my mom um, on our family farm. And so she has uh, started uh, raising chickens. And so she produces eggs that we sell in the store. So and it's the same um, on the back there. Now, how did she get uh, the name Pumpkin? I think that you all have phenomenal names. That's why <laughs> I think it's, is there a story there too? Um, you know, my my grandfather always mm -hmm. called her Pumpkin. It was just yeah. her nickname when she was yeah. a, um, a kid, and it just kind of mm -hmm. stuck, and then she eventually legally changed it. And like back to your grandmother, Minx, with, that was her name, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was see, another name. unique <laughs> name. I know no one named Minx, Summer, or Pumpkin. I mean, I know, you know, the terms, but I think... I just think it goes to the unique originality of your yeah. family. It's Nobody just really fine, yeah. phenomenal. Nobody will tell us we have boring names. <laughs> no, so if and when you ever have children, who knows what the names will be. Yeah. That will be cool.